Right, it's Thursday the 24th of January and I've got home from work and this was waiting on the porch so um, let's open it and have a look what it might be. This is exciting isn't it? So let's um, get that off a minute. It's certainly been well packed. I mean, I know what it is. My missus didn't. She said this was left right, right outside the porch, right in full view of everyone. So this could have gone the walkabouts quite easily. Not disappointed in the seller, of course, because he didn't know, but certainly disappointed in the van driver. All right. Cut it that side. Uh -huh. It's very well packed. Double boxed. Look, someone knows what they're doing. Let's um, pack this down. Very nice. Good job of packing. And uh, let's have a look what it might be. Whoa. Anyone recognise it? It's got to be a hacker, isn't it? Let's have a look. This one was an absolute steal, I can tell you, I didn't pay a lot for this one, um, which is good, I'm going to come in that way actually, someone has got access to a shrinking, shrink wrap anyway. A bit careful here as I go across the dial. Aerial's there, is it complete? Yep, Aerial seems to be alright. Right, that's enough, the rest will just try and rip off. Well, See a couple of faults immediately. There right, we go. All right, this is a uh, RP25A Sovereign 2. It has got buttons. Someone's trying to lever the cap off and a little bit on that one. I can probably straighten those out. You can see the damage where they've tried to get that off. So someone's obviously worked on it. It's got a ding in the side here. I could probably bend that out. And um, the back panel, at least it's got you know this grill thing. At least it's there, but someone's someone's just sellotaped it on. But it is there. Let's have a look inside. Someone's had a go at the amp board, or it's just lost the little plastic. Thing. Uh, Goodman speaker. Someone's. Oh, it's broken. The battery snaps are broken. Aerials all in one piece. Speakers all in one piece. Well, 
someone's put some sticky rubber pads down the bottom here just to support this amp board so I guess that amp board's been loose for some time it's still got the fittings for it, the insulated fittings on both sides so just needs a plastic cap screw holder to hold it down So there we go, that's the serial number, serial number is 54768, so I'll have a look on the Hacker Radio group and uh, see roughly what year that was built, it's uh, missing a couple of screws, oh, someone's tried to push that up this wood needs gluing and these screws need replacing but other than that it's yeah someone's forced that hinge back someone's forced this hinge back I don't know if you can see but it's lost a chunk of wood there it's started to lift split and lift up so I have to clamp that there's a nut stuck up there I don't know where that's from to find that out but um, and it's got as you know part of the A it went from AF117s to uh, the BF um, 194s these lock fit things which can go a little bit noisy um, so we'll have to have a look at that uh, chassis has been out before I can see the screwdriver marks but um, yeah we'll have a look and uh, we'll get it out of the chassis and I might power it up and uh, see what happens but first of all as I've just got home from work cup of tea right let's have a look in more detail at this um, hacker sovereign um, I mentioned the serial numbers 54768 on the bottom the turntable 26322 so obviously it's a new turntable or it's a new case um, someone's got a case and put this in I don't know it doesn't really matter at the end of the day um, someone's been in here before you can see they've um, removed the shut the cover over the AM section and there's lots of nuts and washers and things in the bottom so this set doesn't actually work I've tried it on batteries it doesn't work so um, there's no signal actually getting past the volume or to the volume uh, pot and therefore it's not getting through to the amplifier um, what we're going to do is we're going to repeat the tests I did and um, then I'm going to leave you to guess what it might be. I don't actually know at the moment. Um, but let's just go through the tests I did. Test one is, is there any power actually getting to the set? Well, that's easy to check. You can just text the HT section here, or at least power through to here. You can see my meter there, hopefully. Should have... Um, about 18 volts in there, as you can see we've got 17.64 next thing is to try it with a known good amplifier this is out of a Hacker Herald but it's the same amplifier this is the one out of the Sovereign absolutely nothing this is the amplifier from the Hacker Sovereign in a Hacker Herald view outdoor security camera as motion so the amps fully working so we can uh, discount that next thing to do is to work our way back and check if there's any signal at the volume pot absolutely nothing I'm 
I'm using a signal tracer here, so you should hear something on one end of the volume control here. Now we're going to check the same action with the Hacker Herald, which is essentially the same radio. So your relaxing here. music makes a turn the volume down. And that's the signal or the audio coming out of my signal tracer. Next we're going to check for a local oscillator signal using uh, a scope. So again this is in the Hacker Herald just to show you what it should look like. If you can see that. Oops, it's not doing very well is it? So that's what a local oscillator signal should look like. Get this back in the right place. Right, and now we're going to see if the local oscillator is running on the sovereign. So I'll turn the set on. All I'm doing is holding a 10x probe next to the local oscillator which is just there which is the same as I did with the Herald um, it's earth it I ground it so we're getting pretty much nothing as I've got the intensity turned up, but pretty much nothing compared to the other one, and I haven't changed the scope settings. So, I would like to know what you think that might be before I take the radio apart any further. I have my own ideas, but um, I'd just like to hear yours in the comments below. So, turn the scope off. So we've got the amp working, the speaker works. Um, I've put an AF source up there. We can, uh, you have to take my word for that. I don't want to turn up the pulse generator again. But the speaker works, so it's not the speaker. Um, we've got no local oscillator. We've got no signal, no audio signal at the volume control. And obviously that passes it on to the amplifier. What do you think might be the problem? Um, I'll read your comments and then we'll uh, investigate each one. This is a uh, Hacker Sovereign RP25A. If you want to get your circuit diagrams out. Now, I haven't removed anything. This is, you know, as, as it is. I haven't taken it uh, apart yet. I've got my own thoughts if I didn't just mention that. But um, we'll see what people think. A couple of things I stupidly didn't mention during the video. I've, uh, the, the, the speaker works, but when the set is on, there's no hiss at all, even with your ear right up to it. The set doesn't work on any wave bands at all. But, um, and I've got power 9 volts in places on this board though I haven't really checked that out yet so there is power getting to the FM board here and a clue might be that the AM can is hanging off there and the screw has been taken there's a screw that fits onto the side here so I've given you loads of clues as I say I don't know what it is um, I have my suspicions but uh, please um, put it in your comments below. Thanks for watching.